Hello everybody, this is Soft Colors webinar. Today's topic is automatic photo editing and color management workflows with Soft Color Automata Pro and Server Software. I'm Petri Piirainen, I'm CTO and CEO founder of Soft Color. So welcome to our webinar. So let's get started. So today's topics are related to Soft Color Automata software art that how you can automate your photo editing workflows with our Automata software. What is our secret automation source? So our spectral artificial intelligence, color grading and color correction technology. So how you can do your daily photo editing workflows automatically with Softcolor Automate. And of course we have a lot of demos today. So first we have getting started tutorial about Automata's hot folder workflows. Then we have how you can handle color correction and color management with Automata. And then how you can edit PDF. So photos in the inside PDFs with soft color Automata. And the last one is the advanced topics that how you can handle multi-format one sing single folder input workflows for RGB, CMU, GS, Grayscale. So how you can handle these multi-format workflows easily and automatically with Softcolor Automate. So shortly about the Softcolor. So we are uh, we have uh, Softcolor is founded 2005, and what we do we do image editing workflow automation software for Windows. So we have three software, uh, we have three products, Automata Pro, Automata Server and Photo EQ, and we are located in Joensu, Finland. So what we are doing, we are making faster, easier and affordable photo workflow automation for you. So let's start our secret sauce. So what's the, the secret? Uh, behind our automatic solution. So it's our own soft color spectral artificial intelligence technology for color correction and color grading. So with this technology you will get picture perfect photos automatically. And what does it mean? So here's an example. With soft color software so all our applications, Automata Pro, Automata Server and Photo EQ, they include this technology. So here you can see, so here is the original file image and here is corrected image. So what this means is that, that our Spectral RE engine can fix all white balance, exposure, contrast, color casting problems automatically. So it works with good photos, it works with challenging environments, it works with very bad problems, and also it works very good, uh, so how I would say that bad quality, like mobile camera phones or somehow very low quality photos. So it will fix them automatically to the perfect colors. For example here, here we have very bad shows, but we get quite nice results. So with soft color software, you never need to take photos once and you will ever lose any shot. So, so the big uh, difference with other solutions is that, that our automatic color correction technology is entirely layer based. So all these steps, all these image editing devices for color grading and color corrections are separate layers. So we have selective color adjustments, we have contrast, we have exposure, we have color temperature correction, we have rich dynamic enhancement, we have color cast removing, we have luminosity enhancement. And all these are separate layers. So this means that you will have total control of the output. And this is important because all of us 
has some kind of view what is good photo and and opinions vary so someone likes cold tones someone likes warm tones and but with our software you can easily tune the result just like you want so you can choose how much there is automatic correction how dark or light colors will be and the greatest thing is that that you can choose the grading so this is very accurate tool to get perfect feeling to your photos so you can easily make photos colder or uh, warmer or maybe magenta or green tones and this works with big batch processing photo masses and the thing is that you can control everything so you, soft color engine spectral re engine and soft color software works just like you want so and let's take closer look about our soft color automator software we have two types of software so automator pro which is for desktop so you can use on your windows desktop machines it works fine on, on windows tablet like surface pro and of course you can use it with your laptops and then we have automator server which is the server version of the soft color automator pro so here you can see so it is hot folder based so it it it, it workflows so it is running all image processing tasks automatically on the background. So when new files arrive to input folder, it processes them automatically and then will be copied to the output folder. So what you can do and what is Softcore Automate? So we have two editions. It hot folder workflows based software. You can work with digital image and raw formats. So technically you can work almost any possible image formats what's available. And also you can edit images inside the PDF files. So it has our own automatic color correction, a color, a color and tone correction and grading technology, spectral eye technology. Also, it has selective color adjustments, so for skin tones, green and blues. So you can tune the memory colors as you want. And it has the full standard color management. You can convert RGB to CMUK or vice versa. So you can work RGB, CMUK or grayscale photos. And it has a lot of image editing tools from resampling, resizing, cropping, sharpening and all the tools what you need. And also it has file logistics. So you can use this as a file logistics workflows. And there is no limitations. So you can have as many workflows running as you want. And all workflows are running on the background. So your computer is the only limitation. And of course it has the log files option. So you can see what has it, what is that. So log files are both in on pro and servers editions. So what you can do automatically with Softcore Automator software. First is this color and tone correction. It means that you can fix white balance, exposure and contrast dynamic enhancement, luminosity correction, color cast correction, and you can fix dark on light colors. Dark and light uh, color reconstructs, it means that dark and light clipping automatically. Then it has our special color grading tools, and of course the selective color adjustments. So for skin tones, green, blues. So it is the memory colors. Then we have standard color management. You can convert, convert or assign profiles. It supports RGB, CMUK or grayscale photo profiles. It is 32 bit precision and it handles version 4 and 2 profiles, ICC profiles. Then we have curves tools 
and also you can import and export Adobe Photoshop curves. So if you have some special curves what you want to use, you can use automatically then just import them from Photoshop and you can use them in your automated workflows. Where we have unsharp masking, we have automatic adaptive sharpening, we have resizing, resampling tools, automated cropping, noise removing, XMP metadata supports, watermarking supports. And what the best thing is that, that we automate the workflows are totally open. It means that you can use your own tools or your own scripts with Softcore Automate. And all our tools are easy to use and it has all the professional which features what are needed. First, so you can process subfolders, structures, you can process PDFs, it has multiple supports, you can save JPEG, TIFF, PNG, PST, BNP, and also with Photoshop files we have the special feature that you can save two layers, so edited image and original image in the same file. So you can filter input files by file name, file extension or file type. And then we have all these tools. Color correction, color grading, selective colors, color adjustments, color management, unsharp masking, and of course the curves tool with Photoshop support. Photoshop curves tool support. So what is this hot folder photo editing workflows and how they work and why they are good for image editing automation. So everything based in, in, in Softcore Automata, all the processing based on the photo editing workflows. So each workflow is hot folder based batch processing. It means that when new, the system is looking to input folder for new photos or change it photos and then it will be edit them automatically. You can make unlimited, there is no limitation with workflows, so create many, as many workflow as you want. So Softcore Automator is doing all the processing automatically at the background. So we have full parallel processing support. And what you is cool that you can use multiple workflows for same input or output. And you can also loop the workflows. So it means that first uh, workflow output, output is input for the second workflow. So this is what it looks. So in here we have two workflows running. So, and here is the status of processing status, and here you can see one easy glance that what are the settings for workflow, and then you can stop, start, edit, copy, and delete the workflows. And what is important in, in Softcore Automata that each workflow is own separate process. So, all workflows are working independently and it has full multi-core and multi-processor parallel processing support. So how does this hot folder based image editing works? So first we have input folder and this is the folder which Automata checks all the time. It's, it's also the, the another term for hot folder is watch it folders. So we, it means that so this process is checking is there any new files or is there any changed files which need to be processed. So automate the check automatically if there is new or any that files in the folder and those folders will be processed automatically. So how this for automated photo editing workflow is working in, in the practical. So first each workflow has input folder and it's the hot folder. Then you can choose input file filtering, then you choose photo editing tools like automatic enhancements, color and tone settings, color management and image editing tools. 
and then these files are processed and saved to OTUP folder. This this works also uh, same same workflows works for normal digital images, raw files or PDF files. And all these steps, like for input and output, you have full file logistic support. You can move, delete, copy or duplicate files during the process. For example, you can move non-processed files to another file folder or you can skip certain file types like if you doesn't need to process CMUK files again, you can just copy them to output folder. So all this kind of file analytics and logistics is available. And this is the tool where you create the workflows. So the, here is the concept. So here is the workflow settings. Here you can select the input folder. Here you select input filter if needed. And here you add these photo editing tools. And here you set output folder and output format. And then you just save and start processing. So as earlier I, I said that what is special with Automator that we have all workflows are open for your own photo editing tools. So what does it mean? So we Automator has pre and post processing commands. So this means that you can use any Windows application, cell script or PowerShell script with your photo editing workflows. So this means that you can easily make and we can easily make for you custom plugins. It makes possible to integrate Automata to editorial systems. It also gives custom file format supports and also you can in uh, use this with FTP, SFTP or network operation or some REST API. So how does it work? So that the preprocess command is run before and post is run after the file is processed. So here you can, here's an example. So we have the same input folder and here we have the preprocess command. It means that when there's new file coming, automate that run the file first through this preprocess command, and after that, the file is coming to the automate the process. And then we have the, just like normal workflows, so you have all input file filtering and photo editing tools available. And if you use output folder uh, post processing, it means that when Automata has processed the file, it will be run through this post-process command. And here you can, for example, use that it, it informs your editorial system that, that now file has changed it, or you can use your custom FTP uploading. And all these file logistics features are also available for, for pre- and post-processing commands. So, then shortly about what's the difference between Automata Pro and Automata Server. <coughs> Both applications has exactly the same workflow tools and features. They have the same color, automatic color correction and color grading tools. All the settings are same, so you can transfer, for example, you can import your Automate the Pro Tools workflows to your Automate the Server. So the difference is that the server is multi-user server application, and server is running as the Windows service. Pro is a single user desktop software, and it's running as a current user process. So that's the main difference. So. And what is cool with Automata Pro and Server, so for example, you can, if, if you are running a server environment, you can have, you have Automata Server running on your server, but you can edit and test your workflows on Automata Pro on your PC or laptop or Surface. And then you can just 
export this in uh, workflow settings and then just import them to back to server. So this makes very easy to test and build workflows. Okay, so now it's the demo time. So let's start with demos. So first we have this getting started sample. So how you can edit images automatically with automated workflow. So first we start workflow management and we create a new workflow. We set name for the workflow so that we can see from. Then we set log files. So the log file saves all the activity. And then we just select input folder. And workflows output folder. And we have JPEG as output format. And then we just add to tools. So in this tutorial sample we demo we use automatic color correction and color grading. With workflow editor you can always test your settings and with your the sample images. So you can say that workflow is now working. Then we save and exit. And now it's this applet and then we just start the workflow. So, and here is some sample photos which we are using because it's hot folder. So what we need to do, we need to just copy these files to input folder. And then automate the start processing. So now it's running on the background. Now it's ready and we can check the results from output folder. So, as, the, uh, as you can see now, color correction and color grading has done. So it means that white balance, exposure, contrast, dynamics problems are now fixed. So, in this second example, we use also automatic color correction and automatic color and tone correction. And we also use color management. And in this demo, we will do both RGB and CMYK versions of files automatically. So we will make two workflows. One is for RGB and second is for CMUK and these files, these workflows are working simultaneously. So you need to just copy original image to input folder and you will get both versions to the output folder. So let's get started. So let's start Automata and let's first make RGB processing workflow. So here we set input folder and then we set output folder as before and also now because we are using same files we set rgp suffix and then we add these color tools and then we add color management so here comes srgp and now it's ready so, and let's save it. And we can copy this file workflow. And then now we need just to change color management settings to CMUK profile. And here we change as a newspaper CMUK. And we put the suffix to CMUK because we are saving in the same folder. Now we save. Okay, we had a little typo on the title, so we can easily edit it. So let's save it as CMUK. And let's save it. And now it's ready. So let's start both workflows. Now they both are running on the background and looking for image to edit. So let's use the same samples. So here is input folder for both workflows and as you can see the images are now ready for processing and it started processing them.
So now it's ready and you can see that the same output folder has CMUK and RGB versions of the image. And of course you can have these same workflows as many as you want. So this is very time saving feature. So, and now let's some special feature with Automata. So how you can edit automatically photos inside PDF files. So here we have a sample PDF. So it's very simple, it's two page and four images. So let's start Automata. And here we put this name, so automatic enhancement. So and then we choose just choose input folder just earlier. And here we have and then we choose output folder and let's add same automatic tools and here you is the setting for PDF by default Automata is processing all images inside PDF but also you can convert them to raster image or just skip the files but now we are editing inside the files so let's save and let's start so let's get our sample PDF to input folder let's copy it and here it is so now it's starting processing and now it's processing images inside the PDF and now it's ready so here is the original and here is to edit it so as you can see it doing exactly same set uh, enhancement just like normal files but now it's editing photos inside the PDFs and with these tools you can also use all uh, in like you can choose what kind of formats you are using you can skip grayscale or smug files so you have all the same features and of course you can use pre and post processing commands with PDFs also okay so then we have this little bit advanced and a little bit complex topic so this is quite typical for printing industry so you have one folder for example where your customers are sending uh, photos and images via like FTP or uploading from the web so you have one so you had to handle RGP, CMUK and grayscale images automatically so how you can do it so this is a little bit complex but it's very easy with Automate so we need three workflows so first we have this input all folder and then we have one workflow for RGB images and this workflow is skipping CMUK and grayscale images and it is moving them automatically to CMUK input and grayscale input folders and then we have just workflows for CMUK and grayscale and, and at the end all these files are saved to output folder and with this setup you can have specific settings for RGB, CMUK and grayscale files so let's start first so here is the structure so we have input all, input CMUK, input grayscale, input and, and output all so let's start Automata and make this RGB work, workflow first So here is the RGB image processing and we have this input all and then we have output all and then we say log files so you can it's you can see how the files are moved and let's add these color correction settings and now you can choose for smug files you can choose you can skip them or just copy to output folder and for grayscale files you can skip these files or move them so this works also 
like grayscale RGB files or real 8-bit RG or grayscale files, grayscale files. So let's move these CMUK image into CMUK. So, and now everything is ready. So put here, uh, so we can see that this is RGB workflow. And now let's save it and let's test this. So here's the input folder. And here's the sample. So there are three different types of images. And let's put them in the input. And now it starts processing. And now we can see. So input CMUK files. So RGB is in output. Grayscale in, in own folder. And CMUK also it's in own folder. So this is ready. And now we need to just make these two extra workflows. So let's create them. So this is CMUK processing and we save it. First we save set the log files. And this is now the input is CMUK file. And okay we in, in this demo we just use it it just converts files so we don't have any special tools here so technically it just open and, and saves again and let's put here the test so then you can see that it's working and then let's make same for grayscale files And let's choose the same output folder and here we put that it's grayscale and let's just save the workflow and now these are ready and let's test it how it's working so here we have input all and these folders are empty and it's also output empty and let's start all these workflows So everything is ready now and when we go to check output all so each file type has been processed with their own settings so this is this, ma this makes it very easy to, to use specific color management or assign specific color management profiles for different type of files or and 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 also you can use like file operations to move files okay so here was the demo so let's sum up this webinar so what we have learned about Automata Pro and Server so Automata Softcore Automata is photo enhancements image editing and color management workflow automation software it uses our own spectral AI, AI artificial intelligence technology for automatic color correction and grading. You can work any digital images and camera raw and also with PDF files. It based on the hot folder workflows. It has file logistics automations and all the workflows are open. So you can use your own tools with, with workflows. And the, the, the important thing is that it has very good performance. And the best thing is that you can test Automata Pro free today. So you can download fully working 10 days trials for Pro and for server on our website. So these are fully working 10 days trials. And when you are happy and you want to buy, buy them, it's fast, easy and secure to buy them from our web store. So it's few clicks and, and few seconds and, and process is ready. So how much? 
So Automata Pro is $199 and Automata Server is $899. And also these are single payments, so they are not subscriptions. And you can use them forever. It's one license for one computer. And you can transfer the licenses. So thank you very much for watching this webinar and I hope you like it and I hope the automator is solving your photo workflow problems and please try the free trials. So if you have any questions or feedback so just email to at automator at softcolor.fi and visit our website. So thank you very much.